Hi guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am here doing a plan with me in my personal catch-all planner for the week of Easter. So we're going to be diving right in and planning for the week of Easter, which is April 11th through the 17th. Um, and I'm going to be in my vertical catch-all planner, which is super exciting. Um, I'm also realizing I have not yet even decorated my monthly spread here. So it might be that April just ends up not getting decorated. Um, and so anyway, um, this past week I did decorate with the Planners Anonymous kit. And so this week, the 11th through the 17th, since it is Easter, and since I did purchase some stickers from Will Away stickers for this exact purpose, I'm going to be use able, using a Will Away stickers sticker kit, a full kit set, um, with Easter. Um, and so these are the sheets. I did flip through this in a previous video, but these are the six sheets in this full kit, and I'm looking forward to using them for the week. Um, and so it will be fairly simple. Actually, one of the things I want to do is to add some florals in here as well. So Easter um, being like the black and white with this like really nice like bold pink to go with it plus some florals I think would be awesome. So let me go ahead and pull some floral stickers as well. And I want to be able to try to find something that matches the pink um, which might be very difficult actually. Um, so maybe I'll just do like gold or something like that. I'm not quite sure. So let's see. Or maybe black and white florals. That might be an idea okay so i'm going to set this to the side because there are some black and white florals in there that might work and it would go with like kind of the bold look of the stickers themselves i feel like these stickers are a different shade of pink so they do not work as well yeah see this is more coral all right so that won't work and then here are all of my loose sticker sheets i'm sure i have other sticker sheets but these are all just the ones that i've pulled out of various books and yeah, I just don't know that these would work. Okay, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna stick with the black and white then. I feel like black and white would work well. I'll maybe save some of these other sheets. Like this one has like three stickers on it. Let's try to use that. Here has a couple, like four, right? Um, and I wonder if I want to use some gold in there. So I'll set that to the side. And yeah, so here's a bunch of black and white and gold. So I'm going to put these to the side. Since I do have mostly gold at this point, I'll put aside the rose gold. All right, this is cute. All right, and then Sophisticated Florals does have a lot of black and white, but I think I might have used them all. So let's see. Yes, mostly rose gold, and I think I pulled out the black sheets. All right, so I think we're good at this point. I have the full kit. And then I have colorful florals with some of the gold stickers in there, plus these other black and gold floral stickers. And we'll kind of do something with these stickers. So let's zoom in just a tiniest bit and we will get started. So this is the week um, that there's a lot happening this week. One, I did actually switch to this size for, um, sorry, I did combine like my personal planning and work planning. And so this is the week where we are actually starting at work um, advising and so I'll be very busy with advising and I'm wondering if I should actually note that as like boxes um, work tends to be something I keep a little bit separately I am moving into digital planning for work um, but I do want to note that advising is coming so I'll probably maybe use like some of these checklists I'm not quite sure I, I gotta think about that um, so I do have advising basically happening Monday Tuesday and Wednesday um, and then Thursday I don't really have anything yet but then of course the weekend is like the beginning of um, Easter and things like that. So I do want to go ahead and start getting some of these things down and just kind of enjoying these stickers. I do think that these stickers are so cute. I'm wondering what I should do with this. I think I'll use this as a like a big strip of like washi. I'll put it right here. We still have it at this point. Um, it's Sunday that I'm recording and Sunday when I'm uploading. Um, we still at this point a week out have not made like firm plans for Easter and so you know it's just I think one of those Easter's where we're going to be pretty light on you know what we're actually going to be doing for Easter so it might just be where I can really decorate this up and just have fun with it because we're not we're not planning to do anything too serious really um so I got a couple of things down and I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some of these florals I do want to try to use the black just because I feel like the black and white just gives it such a nice pop of color um, and in order to like not have to worry about like 
trimming around the the white border here what I like to do is just cut it in half and just kind of use them on the cut edge because you know obviously that side is not like a white border um so we'll start off with that and I do want this one to I'm actually gonna put this one I think down here well no I'm gonna put it up here actually hanging off the edge just a tiny bit and then just trimming this edge down and this piece right here that I'm cutting out is big enough that I am going to probably just put it right back in here like so oh that was crooked this top half has just enough structure to kind of do its own thing all right we'll call that good right there okay it's looking really cute so far okay and then Let's go back in here. All right, I really do need to check my schedule, but I don't know what I have for work because again, like I'm in digital planning for work right now. So I think what I'm gonna do is instead of trying to list out all of my appointments, what I'm gonna do instead is just put these check boxes. I do need four, all right? So I'll definitely be working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so four days. And I'll leave a box for each of the four days. And I think that should be good. Let me actually use one of these washi strips to separate right here and add this one right next to it okay and then trying to get back to this sheet let's see we'll do a pink and I like to layer the boxes kind of outside of the boxes as you can see here and the reason for that is because then with it being i mean it sized the width of the box but not the height of it um with me just kind of spacing it however or like offsetting it from the box i don't feel like i'm so tied down to like having it be perfectly like the correct shape of the box so that's why i like to do that let me add in just like maybe one more piece of this glitter washi right here actually yeah no i'll i'll still put it down I was going to put a label, but I'll still put it right on top of that. All right, and then the last one, let me see. I'm just going to do a pink. I'll put the pink right here. Um, work is one of the very first things I do. I rarely do stuff before work in the morning. I pretty much wake up, get Sophia ready for school, and then go to work myself. And so I do use this catch-all as, generally speaking, like morning, afternoon, and evening. So what I have right here really just kind of works. All right, I think we're getting, okay, so I don't wanna use this one just because that is too much, all right? But I want to at least try to get Happy Easter in here somewhere. And that's kind of in this one book, which I did put into the box right there. I think that's super cute. And I will use another strip of washi here give it just enough space that I can offset this one All right like that All right super cute All right I feel like I need to fill in this section just a tiny bit with some florals so let's go back in here and use some clear stickers should I use gold I feel like gold might be would it be off I think it'll be okay actually all right, so I'm going to start just adding in some of these pieces. Oh, that looks so cute, all right. Just to fill it in. No, I didn't like that. I covered the Happy Easter, not happy with that one. All right, let's move this one down just a tiny bit. I do want it in this spot though, let's see. All right, look how cute that is. That looks gorgeous, right, with it catching the foiling, the lighting right there, okay. Let's go back in here then. I think that's super cute like that. Let me go into labels. Okay, let's see. I'm wanting the other labels. Let's do this label set right here. All right, so I have definitely to-dos. To-dos and todays. Hmm. I was going to add them, but I feel like that might not be necessary. Okay, I'll just leave it for right now. I was going to add them, but changed my mind. Okay, so 
let's get a couple more pieces of floral in here i want to try to like connect this piece over here and then maybe potentially this piece although i like to have like kind of three layering clusters if that makes sense so this one could be one big one and this one could be a, a small one so i might do that instead so let's let's do that okay it's looking really cute to me and i think what i'm gonna do is is this too big for this area all right i think i'm gonna use it all right this giant quote right here i've just been saving it have not known what to do with it and i think i'm just gonna use it I'm covering up most of it. Is that going to really bother people? Let me see. I'm actually going to put these together. I don't want the quote bloom with grace to be cut off, but I feel like everything else can kind of be cut off. So let's just get it down right there. Oh no, this did not work. Okay. Should have held it down better. So I'm going to, all right, put that down. I keep losing my scissors. And then let's Turn this around so I can see a little bit better. And we'll cut it this way. It's a pretty large piece still to kind of use, all right? So I'll leave that right there. Cut this piece right here. And since I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and punch it, do the hole punching. The way I hole punch is since it's sticker, or like even if I do it with washi, I like to put the stickers, like like the, the sticky side together. So that way when you hole punch it, at least it saves the punch from getting a little bit sticky, you know, it's one way of doing it. It will still get sticky, but at least it's not like directly on the sticky side. Um, so that's how I punched it. And I think that's super cute. It's just the tiniest bit. And I think that looks really cute. Okay. And then I'll use this piece that was left over and I'll just add it down here just to fill in this section of it. And I might add a couple more florals here because I think it's super cute in this corner. All right, let's see. A couple of these ones. Wait, there was a sheet of like, I almost used all of it, right? Okay, let's try some of these. All right, so let's do, let's try this one. All right, oh, that's so, so cute, okay. And then let's try to fill in this section right here. I want to use this one. I think I'm gonna trim it just a tiny bit. It's a little bit too tall as a clear sticker. And I'm just today lazy enough not to want to kind of fussy cut with some of these pieces. So I'm going to try to put it in here so that way the stems look like they blend in. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this piece back in here somewhere. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that one. No, I guess I still can. All right, it'll be fine, I think, right? I'm gonna put it like right here. Okay, and then I need like maybe one or two gold pieces and I think we'll be done. Like it'll be fairly straightforward plan with me, I think. The gold is just to like pop against some of these other pieces. I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I do want to fill in some of these gaps. This is probably a little bit too big. Let me put this one over here. Get a smaller piece like this one for this little section right here. Okay, and then I need a couple of foil pieces down here. Let's see. Let's do this one. It has a different kind of floral shape to it. And uh, maybe one more. I'll do one more floral. And then I think that will be it. All right, let's take a step back and, and see what this looks like, right? So I did end up using mostly like black and gold florals here with the Will Away stickers that I purchased myself to use for Easter week. And right, I think it's kind of cute. All right, I actually think it's really cute. I want like one more floor right here just to kind of break up like this, this uh, squareness of this little section. So I'm going to find like a black floral, I think. Let me try to find something that's, something I can cut, like it's big enough to cut. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm just gonna use the leaf, all right, because I don't know if I wanna really pull into something else, right? I'm just gonna cut this piece right here. Ah, I'm dropping stuff all over the place, like off camera. All right, so we're gonna cut this one and I'll put this one down here. I think, right, I think it just needs it here. So I'm just gonna add it again, like flip it the other way and just add it right in here. Okay, how does that look? All right, I think it looks super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super quick and easy, I thought, to kind of put it together, but that's one of the benefits of having beautiful stickers to use, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.